13th inning, the Redbirds had blown a lead late, and guys like me were stressed. And, you know, it'll never happen now. We had the lead. It was right there. But Albert steps up, and, and yeah, he, he laced that line drive. And, you know, line drives the right field slice. So the only question was, is it going to slice fair or foul? And we know, courtesy of a red seat, that it, it landed fair. September 15, 2000, it's the bottom of the 13th inning. A young 20-year-old, as you mentioned, Albert Pujols, comes up. And to this day, one of the most frequently asked questions we get here at AutoZone Park, whether it's from people who are visiting, people who are from here, what's up with the red chair in the outfield? So for those people who don't know, what's the story? It was fun as the president and general manager to watch the success in Class A ball all year of this young phenom. Albert Pujols, but of course we we're playing for a championship and we were hoping to get him up here before the end of the year. And uh, as uh, fortune would have it, we did get Albert. He played three games for us and now we're in the bottom of the 13th of the championship game. And it's just like, you know, dreams become reality sometime. Albert steps into the batter's box against the, uh, the Salt Lake pitcher and he throws one low and outside and Albert just rips it. I mean, a line drive, it never got 20 feet high, and it hit the, the bluff right out there. Having played 14 games above Class A during the championship run, barely here, but still owns one of the greatest moments to take place in this franchise. Did you know in that moment, not only was that going to be a historic home run, but Albert Pujols was going to go on to have the career that he did? Yeah, I had no idea. I don't think anybody <laughs> did. Um, I mean, he put up a great year at Class A. But again, you know, my, my plans and my thoughts were to be scouting Albert Pools in the 2001 season. And, you know, he just, he, he just rose like a rocket. We knew that he was going to be a great one. And we certainly hoped, since he hadn't played but 15 games above Class A, that he'd be our third baseman the next year. Uh, but as we all know, as the history has been written, he didn't need any more AAA baseball. He was ready for the big league the next year. Obviously, you were not here for Albert's short stint. So when you came in, why was it so important to keep his so-called pro on the bluff? Well, I think I was like everybody else. You know, the first time I was here, the seats wrapped all the way through that area. And I didn't know what it was. You know, so I was like everybody else. I pointed out to him and said, why is there a red seat there? Um, and once you heard the story and you talked to people who witnessed it, um, or the tens of thousands that said they witnessed it, you know, even though that not everybody was here, but everyone was present, right? Is w when you heard those stories and you heard the emotion around it and the pride that went around, you know, Memphis being sort of the home of that great moment and sort of the birth of, of Albert Pujols that we know today, um, it was a no brainer for us when we were you know, tearing out the seats that we had to keep that legacy. When you look at it from an outsider's perspective, it's just a chair. But from an insider's perspective, you know what it is. So what does that mean to this organization? Well, I think the chair symbolizes what Memphis is all about. And that is, it's a point along the road for players to go to the big leagues. Um, I think it's also a reminder that you need to enjoy the players who are here while they're here because this guy who came up from single A, double A to play for a short stint here in Memphis, hits a epic home run that everyone's excited about, turns out to be one of the greatest players in the history of the game. So it's those moments that we take home, that we share with our kids, with our parents, with our spouses, friends, you know, it's, it's the ballpark's all about moments. And that, that chair has become sort of a tangible, you know, moment in time for those of us old enough to remember it. And those, those younger, they can listen and, and you know, uh, accommodate us with the stories, it becomes that much deeper and that much more special a part of this, this grand ballpark.